Hi, my dear kids. I am Che Gudila, and today you will learn about scientific skills, and these topics are applied in science year four, five, and six. So, what is scientific skills? Scientific skills are the skills practiced when conducting an experiment or investigation. Scientific skills are divided into two, which is the first one is the science process skills, and the second one is the manipulative skills. We go to the second one first, which is the manipulative skills. Manipulative skills is the practice when conducting an experiment. So once you want to do an experiment, this is the skills that you need to have. First. You need to know how to use and handling apparatus and material correctly. The second one is you need to know how to handle specimens correctly and also carefully. Carefully. <laughs> and then after that, you need to know how to sketch the specimens or the science apparatus and also the material needs to be correct. Next is cleaning apparatus and material correctly. Once you use the apparatus, you need to know how to clean it, the apparatus and the materials. And then lastly, you need to know how to store the science apparatus and the substance correctly. Uh, each substance needs to be stored at a specific place. Make sure you take it and then put it back. Clean it, put it back after you use it. Okay, that is a manipulative skills. Next, we move to the science process skills. Science process skills, we have all together 12. Okay, so we go through one by one. The first one is observing. So what is observing? Observing is the process of collecting information about object and phenomena using the sense. What is the sense? We have sight hearing, touch, taste or smell and observations can be qualitative or quantitative that is observing. Next is classifying. So classifying is like sorting or collecting object or phenomena based on the same characteristic through observations once we do the observations and then we classify which one is the same okay same characteristics next measuring using number okay after we classify we sorting and then we collecting the object or phenomena based on the same characteristic through observations and then measuring using number once for this one, you need to know to use the suitable apparatus to measuring and collecting the data. Next, we have inferring. Okay, inferring or making an inference. So actually, this one is the early conclusion okay, of an event. That is inferring. Next, predicting. Predicting is the process of creating anticipations for the event that will occur based on the observations and the past experience or reliable data. So we predict what can happen. Predict what can happen after this. Okay, so we need to rely on the previous data. Some things maybe you know that it can be happen. So we can predict that. Okay, that is predicting. Next, communicating. Communicating is the process of delivering and presenting information or ideas in writing, orally, table, graph, diagram, or even a model. Next, we can use space and time relationship. So, space and time relationship is when we're describing the change in positions, directions, shape, or size of an object over time. So, relationship between space and time. We have something else and then we, we relate it with time. Okay? Next, interpreting data. Interpreting data 
is the process to provide descriptions rationally about the object, event, or pattern from the information collected in various shape. Okay, so once we collect the data and then we need to interpret the data. So then we got the information that we want. Once after we interpret the data. Next, this one is uh, quite the hardest one. De defining operationally. Okay, defining operationally is the process to define a concept. So you need to know the concept of an experiment or a variables by stating the things to do and observe. Okay, concept. And you need to know the variables also. Okay, and then it's something that related to the observations and the result. That is defining operationally. Next, this one. We also need to know how to control variables. So we need to know how to identify the variables. We have three types of variables, which is the first one is constants. The things that doesn't change from the entire experiment. It's constants and then manipulate the things that we change. And then the last one is responding variables. So responding variable is the result. So we need to know and to identify these three variables once before we start any experiment. Next, we have formulating or making hypothesis. Okay, remember hypothesis is an early conclusion. So, hypothesis is the process of building a statement. Public things is right by inference made to explain things. The hypothesis is also a prediction about the relationship between two variables. So, that's why we need to know the variables. After we identify the variables, we can make a hypothesis. And... Lastly, experimenting. After we know all of these things, then we can do experiment. So the experimenting is the process of using several science process skills. This is the science process skills to solve a problem and planning step to test the hypothesis. So we made a hypothesis. We know everything's already. Next, we want to test either our hypothesis can be accepted or not. That is science process skill. Next. So, this is the science process skill about the experimenting. Okay. So, first, we need to know or we need to identify the problem. And after that, we're making a hypothesis. After that, we can planning an experiment. We need to plan everything. We cannot just simply do the experiment. We need to plan. We need to know what we want to do. Okay. Next. We conducting the experiment. After we conduct the experiment, make sure we collect the data. There is no nothing. There is nothing if you conduct an experiment without collecting any data. Once you get the data, you need to analyze the data, and after that, you need to interpret the data. So all of that get from the experiment. Once you get everything. Then, you can make a conclusion. Last, but not least, you need to write a report. Okay, but for standard 6, for now, I think you don't need to write a report. You just need to know all of these things. But in uh, Form 1, secondary level, yes, you need to write a report. And then until the university level, you need to know how to write a report. Okay? Next. So, this is how can we plan an experiment. So, in order for us to plan an experiment, we need to know or we need to determine, 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 determine the control variables. So, besides, we need to determine the apparatus and materials needed. We also need to determine the method of collecting data. So, we want to collect the data. We want to put the data in what? In a bar chart, in a table, in a diagram. So, what? So, you need to identify that one first. Next, we need to determine the method of analyzing data. So, we need to clear 
clear up what you want to do by planning an experiment. Same if you are in standard 6, you are planning to get 6A. So what is your strategy? Same goes like when you're planning an experiment. So you need to know all the steps. Okay? So I think that's it for the scientific skills. I hope you learned something. Remember, like and subscribe my videos. Okay? Bye!